How can you have more impact in business meetings? Hi, my name is Alena Huberová and I'm here today with my lovely colleague Lenka Dvořáková. We are both communication trainers and we help people in business to master the art of communication. And today we want to give you some concrete tips on how you can project more strength and more warmth in the business meeting. Uh, it's actually one of the topics that I talked about in one of my latest videos. And as a reminder, um, the strength, when we're talking about strength, we're talking about projecting confidence to the other and showing the other that we know what we're talking about, we are competent. And when we're talking about warmth, it's all about showing the other that we genuinely care. Right, Lenka. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk. How can we project more warmth and more strength during business meetings? What do you think? Shall we start with warmth? Let's yeah? start with warmth. All right. So, what's your take on it? What would be the three most mm -hmm. important things for you to project warmth? Well, the things that come immediately to mind when you're talking about warmth is listening. This is a, such a useful skill Mm -hmm. that we should use in business meetings more yes. because when you listen carefully you get the right information right and connected with that of course is asking the right questions because when you ask the right questions you get the right information mm -hmm. and then you listen and there you are you have everything that you need and also you show that you genuinely care which is a yeah. part of the warmth Absolutely. But, Lenka, yeah. easier said than done, oh, right? Yes. And uh, what comes to my mind immediately is that listening part. Oh. Isn't it so hard to listen sometimes? It is. With this inner voice yeah. that we have. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips on how we can improve our listening? How we can really focus mm. on the other? But focusing, think? focusing is the key word. Right, right. okay. We start working on it being conscious of the fact that we need to listen, yeah. not interrupt our partner, yeah. not showing off that we know the answer already, that I think is, is really important. Yeah. And the other thing that I find really useful is trying to reformulate or paraphrase what the partner is saying, or also saying it loud, because then you make sure that you are understanding correctly. Yeah, that is absolutely true, yeah. And another part, which I think is so important, mm -hmm. we all know that, but the question is, do we do that? <laughs> the electronic devices, oh, yes, the our mobiles. mobile phones, mm -hmm. we have them on the vibration mode. Mm -hmm. Every time the phone vibrates, Oops. we look and mm -hmm. we, we immediately lose threat, right? Yes. And yes. worse still, we, le we, we completely lose the connection, the connection. with the other. Mm -hmm. right? And then we have to pick it up again and start Absolutely. over. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And besides, the other starts thinking, hmm, they've got more important things yeah. on their mind than my issues, right? Mm -hmm. And we can sometimes lose mm -hmm. trust because mm -hmm. of such mm -hmm. a stupid thing as a yeah. phone, mm -hmm. yeah? So keep your electronic devices away if you want to really improve your ability to listen. Or switch them off, which yeah. is something I did a couple of months ago. I switched all notifications of my, on my mobile phone. Yes. You know what happened? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> all right, okay, okay. It's a lesson for all of us. Okay, right. so that's listening mm -hmm. and asking questions. Yeah. Do you have any ideas? Any more ideas? Lenka, yes. Uh -huh. I think it's so important that we enter the business meeting with the right state of mind uh -huh. bringing the right energy. Uh -huh. Because let's face it, we all enjoy um, being surrounded by people who are happy, positive, yeah, cheerful. optimistic, mm -hmm. cheerful, right? Mm -hmm. And so before we step into a business meeting, that is something that we should be, that, yeah. that is something that we should feel mm -hmm. in order to then radiate the right mm -hmm. energy in mm -hmm. the business meeting. Yeah. How do you make yourself cheerful? Yeah, yeah, it's sometimes, um, I can just recall so many situations, imagine that uh, you have one of these difficult mornings, something happens to your partner or you have a terrible news from your yeah. boss and you know that you need to rush mm -hmm. into that business meeting that is really important. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? It's so difficult. You yeah. smile. <laughs> it's 
fake it till you make it yeah. it actually works absolutely or what works is working with your body to get your body in motion because that will change your physiology mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and that will completely change the energy the energy mm -hmm. and the emotions that you're mm -hmm. feeling i also find that music really helps if you have yeah. really beats up upbeat cheerful music that it also helps absolutely so you know when you're driving to the meeting yeah. put your favorite music on and you will see what will yeah. happen Good. right Okay, yeah. so what were the three tips for now? One? So we have listening, okay. super important, asking questions to make sure yes. we really understand the customer mm -hmm. and, yeah, and, and he knows that we care and um, bringing the right energy and, and the right attitude, attitude to the business meeting, right? Yeah. So yeah. now we have warmth covered. All right. How about strength? Right. Do you have any tips? Oh, there is again many things, oh, yeah. but let's focus uh, uh, on the most important things. Which is? So, for me, it's we need to act in a professional way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only during the meeting, but also before the right. meeting. Uh -huh. um, what I'm referring to is our preparation. Mm -hmm. We need to prepare. We need to um, make sure that the other knows what the objective of the meeting right. is. Yeah. We need to have the agenda, agenda clearly right. outlined uh, because that way we will step into the meeting with concrete goals mm -hmm. on our mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. time is money oh, yeah. and we have a limited amount of time during mm -hmm. the business meeting. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice way to show that we're very professional and we're respecting the time mm -hmm. of the other. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned to be prepared mm -hmm. and a part of being prepared is also doing your research mm -hmm. and then when you do your research you have the right information you can ask the right questions yes. you can uh, be ready to provide the information that your partner might need and by that you establish credibility yeah. so not necessarily by coming to the meeting and telling everyone how great you yeah. are but dropping the information in the right time in the right place yeah and that's really the second tip uh -huh. right establishing credibility um, another really nice way to establish credibility is to somehow nicely weave into the conversation um, information about the the work that we we have done in the past with other customers mm -hmm. so for instance if we detect during a conversation that a customer is facing a, a, a particular situation that we already that solved for someone exactly uh -huh. we can mention it really mm -hmm. nicely and that way the customer realizes well they already have experience with that Absolutely. issue they managed to resolve it for the customer maybe they can help me too mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. Yeah, um, or another way to establish credibility uh, to establish credibility is to provide some useful insights mm -hmm. to the customer, right? Mm -hmm. Like for instance, what's happening in the industry? Oh, what's the latest trend? Again, going back to the preparation. Yeah. If you do your research, then you have yeah. all the information together. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it's not about boasting at all. Yeah. Um, it's about um, really providing the right information mm. at the right mm. time mm. yeah and referring to our past work mm -hmm. with the customer mm -hmm. yeah and then there is another part of acting professionally mm. and that's looking professionally and that is mm. something that you have quite experience with right? <laughs> yes quite some bad experience uh -huh. actually but we'll leave that for later <laughs> um, again it's something that we know uh -huh. very well and sometimes we even consider it a little bit superficial uh -huh. you know the looks yeah. well the looks are they, they mean so much oh, because yes. it's part of creating the first impression oh and you only have like seven seconds absolutely. maybe not even and you have yeah. only one go at it absolutely yeah. yeah so it's important to be dressed appropriately uh -huh. for the occasion and if the stakes are really high then you better look your best. You better look like million dollars. And you know what the best thing is? That if you're looking great, you're going to be feeling Feel great. really great. Yeah, and then yeah. there goes the positive attitude and the energy that yeah. you can bring into the meeting. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. So it's all about acting uh -huh. professionally, being dressed professionally, mm -hmm. and there was something else that we talked about, right? Establishing. Credibility, yes. that was the third tip. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So that is covering the strength part. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have pretty much 
you know, covered the most important aspects. And you can yeah. just play with, with both the warmth and the strength. Oh, absolutely. You're covered. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we definitely hope that this serves you, that you will drop down some things that you want to try out in business meetings and do let us know. We always love hearing your comments. And um, that's it. We're really looking forward to seeing you in the next video.